Hello and welcome to another video where we're going to retouch our photos and we'll take the photo uh, from the photo that I did about like Renaissance kind of um, theme. Um, we'll go take this photo and we're going to retouch it. We're also going to extend, take some pieces from here. For example, you can see like basket cut off. So we'll go take off and we'll go and create, combine this image and create this retouching. So we'll go to work. Um, you can see extended. We'll go rework on the face, touch up, add this painting kind of effect to our scenery. So we'll have it um, almost like old style paint to do. So let's start working on this in this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working by selecting a photo that we want to process. Um, you can notice right here I have a lot of shots and sometimes they look similar so if we go over them um, you can see they almost look same what i ask model usually when we shoot if you watch a position of the hand head it just rotates slightly head for me so in this case i can select the lighting i wanted and maybe expression um they also, if we look around, this is set, and I have it in my other um, video, YouTube video, the set and the links where to, how to set up, how, where to get this backdrop. It's actually very inexpensive. You can get on Amazon. Um, I think the flowers was most expensive to set up on this. So you can do this relatively inexpensive set and create this nice Rembrandt settings. So again, the backdrops, it's all of these like um, curtains was in Amazon, the drop on the table, same from Amazon. This is, I think I pick up from uh, Ikea that um, holder on the bottom, fruits from some craft store and flowers, same, I think Hobby Lobby. I just put bouquet. Um, the one thing about this bouquet was that I tried to look on a Dutch painting and we did with uh, how based on Dutch painting arrangements and other ones. So this is probably the most interesting was. And of course the base, it's a, just a glass jar painted with a spray paint. Um, we'll go select this one because I do have it a little bit on the bottom. I'm not sure, maybe I want to see the foot and covering. Um, some of them you can see already I was processing. But usually what I do, I'm going over photos and I just check position of the head. See if, like right here, I do like how her eyes look on a camera and we have a nice point. So maybe we'll go in with this, except right here, um, I do like flowers and top a little bit also positioning. You know what, let's go do with this one. Um, when we select it, a uh, couple things before we start, let's check what I was shot. And you notice I shot one one twenty five because we're using a single light setup. In this case, it is parabolic dish. Uh, well, it's actually deep dish, sorry, from a photo deox. And on uh, our left side, we have a white boards. And I think I may have it actually right here set up. Um, no, nope, maybe it's not not in this case, but I'll attach after a photo with a approximate setup how it was a look. Um, it's very very basic setup. Cameras forty uh, lights forty five on an angle, so we have this by the eye right here. So I want to have this light triangle, light Rembrandt kind of style lighting. Um, okay, and we can probably just framing very well this one. Okay, um, and of course this is model. It's um, from the Shrink the Giant, this Hollis. So it's kind of a nice band with the playing music. But again, you can do with other models. Um, her dress is, I think, she brought by herself. But you can also find and bring and a color around her neck. I just like. Um, this is again from Amazon you can purchase. I think it was like about 15 bucks, but it does worth it. And it's actually this color, it's played two roles. One, you also notice because it is white, I use it black sometimes or golden, but I found actually white. Beside is bring attention, it's also casting light back and reducing some shadows right here under neck. So it's playing double role. It's almost like we have a reflector putting under her. So this is actually 
nice details and also it's look very interesting kind of in a style of this okay so we select photos you can have multiple whatever you like to use and um, the one thing what I say I teach in a workshops class I says that um, memory card is cheap take as many shots as you want to change slightly position head look on this we have a privilege right now to using uh, take more shots than before when we used to have it film okay anyway image is here we select it let's go double time click from a bridge and we're going to open in a camera raw and this is new camera raw 13 so it's a little bit change if you're on older versions you may have it just the top so right now we just have it slide up and down my first things I know my color is set properly so I don't need to worry about the color uh, however, I usually take highlights and I bring them down. I want to remove some of this exposure right here, the head on the side. It was a little bit too much hot spot, so I want a little bit even out. We'll bring back the dimension again, but it is um, maybe just like around here. And if you feel it's too dark, you always can take a little bit exposure up. Remember, we'll bring our shadows. We can adjust, bring just a little bit more. Careful with the shadows because it will add additional grain. Now, after this, uh, let's let's go click remove chromatic abbreviations and use profile camera. I usually do this all the time. And we'll take sharpening and bring to about 60, 70 around there to restore sharpness that was in the camera. Because I shot with a Canon uh, R5 and it's inside the habit a pass uh, that is a little bit blurring to the edge it's ways how it can on some cameras work and this is just help me restore natural lighting next in color mixer we go to luminous and you notice right here on orange this is will affect some brightness on the skin and remember we've flattened some but i want to bring dimension on the skin so i'm just slightly adjusting to bring back in again and the highlights remember the highlights will take a whites if you notice right around this area if we go back to normal we maybe lose too much information on the white so we'll bring back and restore skin we can take orange and bring back up and you can see we can really bring back some of those dim shapes back without affecting our white color so it's give it us nice shadows and everything again this is we preparing we're doing this in camera rub we can do after also in Photoshop we'll touch something okay right here when we're done let's go ahead and click open now we open this inside the Adobe Photoshop first let's go create duplicate our layer we just click drag and drop and we'll call this edit and usually what I do I want to remove this light we have right here on the side and it's dark, dark corner so we don't need to worry too much we'll take a patch tool just go a little bit around like this and drag maybe place right here I say don't worry too much it's too dark and there you go it's look good okay um, next I want to do reframe so we'll select our framing tool and we'll just take from top and usually just bring a little bit down I want her head a little bit be in a corner bring like this a little bit to the center somewhere around right here so kind of in a corner almost right this area maybe just a little bit up kind of position you can see corner um, I could drop probably a bit lower that as will look good as well or bring up to the eyes I think right here let's uncheck delete crop because I just want to see and here is our preview. I think this is kind of nice, the eyes position, everything. Yeah, let's go ahead with this cropping at the time. Next, we'll create a new layer. And let's go call this touch up. We'll go our healing brush. And we I don't think we need to edit too much, but I have just small points like right here on the skin. Select and touch. Don't worry too, too much. 
I just want to be sure we kind of smoothing. We'll use it uh, more smoothing later. This is just to help us adjust a couple of things. I like to preserve the skin texture, but if we're going with the painting, um, some painting painters does not have this time tools on to create it. So we want to simulate and it's mean that remove some of this effect um, right here. This kind of thing, I will, I want leave this on because it's kind of facial feature. We'll smooth it a little bit around. You know what I do? Alt, select, and use it. So we'll use this texture. Okay, let's look right here. This is facial. Let's go and the hands. Hands look okay. And actually, it's interesting. Different coloring. We'll just leave it like this. Um, also, I'm looking if we have any loose dirt around. Nope, it's look good. If you want to actually create longer, we could reconstruct it from other photo and just expand and put it right here more. But I think this is work, except this kind of little bit. Maybe we'll do need reconstruct just to come back and add a little bit more to the feet here. So let's go ahead and back look what we have here. And for example, just find one like maybe wider open. I'm looking just right here on this on the bottom elements. I think this one will work. So let's go ahead open. All what we don't care about anything else. We just only care about this portion. So I want to somewhat simulate what do we have before 25 sharpening Bring a little bit up. Let's go ahead open this image and we'll just take what we have here and expand a little bit more down. Okay, let's go now to our other image we have drag and drop. Okay, let's place it way below the other ones and try to match. There you go. And I can see it's a little bit sizes, which is okay. We'll just go a little bit size down. Something around like right there. There you go. This is set and we just need it. Kind of more position. I think around there, maybe just a little bit adjusting. Kind of like this. Okay. The one thing we can put this on the top now. The reason is I want to blend around here. So we'll go select mask. We'll take our mask tool. Switch to the black. Let's go to about 70%. And I just want to take this and just erase maybe even 100%. We'll just go right here, erase all the way down almost. Okay. So we want this all black. And when we get closer here, Let's go select about 40%. So we'll just start painting in here. Don't worry if we kind of cutting off, this is fine. 
Okay, let's go X switch to the white. 20% and we'll just start actually, let's go 50 on a small one, maybe even 70. Just be sure this edge kind of paint it in. Okay, adjusting a little bit more. And you can see we just extend it all what we do, we just extend a little bit our image. Okay, um, let's select image, zoom out. There you go, we just extend it a little bit on the floor. Uh, let's select our cropping tool, bring back to the edge. Now we can look on the face and this is probably about right. And now I can maybe even bring it a little bit higher like this. So her face, it's a little bit tall, but I think this will work just well. A little bit more on the bottom. There you go. So all what we did, it just expand a little bit right here. And I think it's a little bit better with the basket up. So we have it, our image, um, we have it a little bit touching on a face. I don't think we need touch anywhere else. Oh, right here, actually, you know what? And let's go to this. We'll go select same healing brush. And uh, this is the name. And this is actually funny because this is jar. It is from Costco uh, olives, but we don't want this olives name here. What I just did, I took this jar and I just paint over with a spray paint. So I don't want to have this name. And we can just go and erase this name. Okay, let's select in the middle with a tongue going and we'll just put it. Same things, we actually can easy emboss, just use the phone and emboss almost any name in there. So like right there. And remember, if you're doing for the stock photography, you want to remove any names, anything that may relate it or trackable. So right here, we'll just remove names. It's look a little bit cleaner. Okay. So next, let's go and um, add a little bit shadow and highlights to this. For this, we'll create new layer, and we'll call dodge and burn. Um, I fill up with 50% gray. It's have a different ways you can do on a clear layer, whatever I like do on a gray so I can use it. I can see this very easy and I can um, work in different ways on this. So we'll go right here. You can see we have a little bit lighting on side because we have the actual bounce board, white board was on the side. It is help us don't have this very hard shadows but I want a little bit take it down, add this shadows a little bit right here, maybe. Okay, we'll switch X to the white. Just add a little bit on the highlights. Just a little bit highlights on the eye, on the lips, right there. On the nose just small ones so again we can preview you can see what we have right here kind of almost look like skeleton okay before after not that match just a little bit enhance our lighting already actually was working very well maybe add now a few details here to the shadows okay, let's go work on our hands the hands is look okay. We just want to emphasize just a little bit highlights. It will bring hand up. And this one actually a little bit flat. So I will use it dodge and burn on the edge of the fingers and whites just to make it look a little bit more um, dimensional. Again, we 
for and after you can see we just remove some of this flatness of the light okay we'll go on and back and i use the x key hot key to just jump back and forward And you know what it is um easy setup with the lighting however props do make different how it's look it's make much easier to work and right here i'm just taking the floor make it darker we'll go and add just a little bit more highlights and you know what let's add highlights to our fruits right here a little bit so they pop up little bit highlights on the material we don't need too much but it's help us balance flowers up and down um it's all just almost everything about compositions how we set okay increase our brush we'll go just a little bit in the corners make it a little bit more kind of focusing again remember this is our focus where we want to add our attention okay so we're kind of done with this let's go now to add a little bit more smoothness to this Control shift alt e Control uh command option alt e in the mac we create new layer let's go call it smoothness and we'll go to now filter noise dust and scratches and this is not real number what you need to do you just look around here and see so you have it shape but you don't have it too small you don't see too many details like right here almost look like a painting itself so we'll go use this one we'll create smooth press alt or option and click on the mask it will create for our black mask hiding everything now we can paint in some of this smoothness in right here with a 10 percent opacity on a brush i'm just start painting all what it does it is removing some of this um detailization so what it does it's smooth it's removed this detailization and uh, to match some of the old painting they don't have necessary time to have a texture so they apply they take brush strokes and they just kind of point pop 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 those brush strokes around to create the texturing so that's what we try to simulate with this by reducing notice what i do i do not touch eyes lips hair i'm just doing this to the skin so if we look again this is what's happening you can see hardly but you can see right here very small kind of applying okay so we've done this let's go look on the hands we definitely we want to go to do this on our hands okay so we'll just smooth a little bit on the hands let's go to another hand and come right here oh i don't need it i don't need my text i need it okay my brush this is what i needed okay same we don't need too much just a little bit smoothness okay the next is important part of smoothness it is actually backdrop so you see right here I did use it some steamer to make it not so wrinkly, but it still have the wrinkles pop up. So we'll have it 30% set and I'm just going over this ways of wrinkles. It's actually another very nice digital steamer. So we can do this. And as I'm doing this, you can see the flowers is artificial. So right here it's connecting. If I do same for this smoothness like this, just a little bit, don't work too much. But I want to blend those ends so they don't stand too much. So if you have it some elements, we can do the same way. And let's go back here. And we'll just uh, kind of smooth out a little bit on the background. This is um, also work very well if you have a lot of digital noise. You can use it similar techniques to create this. Okay, right here. I'll just kind of adjusting okay there you go does not totally remove wrinkles so you still have this somewhat texturing look alike on the back 
but it's not jump in in a face so it's still kind of nicely smooth there okay we're done with this smoothness let's go now to create another control shift alt e command option alt e create new layer and we call this oil so because we're going to use it oil painting for this um, and it's filter we'll go filter stylize oil paint and in this case, it is mostly for the hair. So I'll have stylization. Then clearance there. Yeah. Scale maybe just pop up to about one. And brush bristle. Let's go do one and one on those ones on the both of them. Okay, let's click OK. I'm not necessarily like how it's uh, work at this time. I want more texturing. For this, I'll go filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And we'll just take unsharp mask and pop up all the way to like 300 so you can see how they pop up next let's go and hold an alt or option key click on the mask it's create black mask and hiding so now we can use it our paint brush to with the white color so we can paint back in effect that we just have it in areas we wanted so all what we did we apply effect and now we can paint this effect in the areas we want it and it currently it's hair because it's hair will look much cleaner let's look kind of very painty right here we can do on both ends and uh, this is actually work very well in the shadows you can see what the shadows area was before you can see you almost cannot see hair and now it's kind of a little bit more cleaner so i like this to do um this effect works very well if your person have it a wig and you can just come closer with a wig creating on the sims and it's removing okay the next things also okay let's go here on her eyebrows just slightly because her eyebrows lost texture with this just add a little bit back okay i'll actually um if you have it fur so also we want to go over fur because it's add you can see some those fibers so it's create almost like you know um person took the brush and with oil brush create a fiber so it's all what we do okay right here now i want to actually apply same things on the flower not as much but you can see if we do on a flower they actually start having this if look precise like oil painting and it's what help us create this atmosphere of oil painting and remove some of this plastic like look just add those brushes right here same like these flowers if you look we add a little bit oil painting to them and now it is look like oil painting okay we'll just add the strokes to our flowers For example let's go closer and you can see just a add a little bit painting effect so now they start looking more as a paint before and after okay her eyes i want to bring a little bit better of them i think they're a little bit dim so we'll go to create a curve and this curve will work both it's a uh, highlights okay Okay, and what we're going to do is just to set this to like a very curve. Of course, we um, don't want kind of like smooth curve and we'll switch to overlay mode. Okay, next we'll take, select our mask, control I or command I to inverse it. And with our brush, we can paint in like around eye you can see we select and we just slightly paint in so it's bring a little bit more contrast in the eye 
Also, if you want, if you add just a little bit to the lips, I mean, literally just a little bit, it will make them brighter. But mostly what it's work very well on the highlights in the hair also. So you can see it's work as a double tool. And I'm just going right here where I see highlights and I just bring them a little bit more. Before and after. Not that much, but just add small thing to our painting. So let's create, it's all about creating this painting effect. Again, we can add a little bit highlights. Touch right there on the face, before and after. Okay, same things. If you want to add highlights anywhere else, for example, we don't necessarily need it, but if I want to just add this small touch on the fruits, just add a little bit highlights there. It's a much stronger and it work a little bit more than just dodge and burn. But it's add those little touch ups. Okay, um, I'm looking again right here on the bottom, maybe just add a little bit another layer. So let's go create, actually let's delete, let's do global right now, bring texture up and we'll do this control shift alt E, command option alt E and it's global texture. We'll bring in and we're going to image, adjustment, black and white. We'll take black and white, red and yellow, bring back up a little bit. And let's see if our flowers, yeah, we can bring a little bit of flowers up. What we're going to do, it is we're going to use um, soft light on this. And soft light work this way, 50% gray invisible. And it start kind of almost contrast going like overlays up and down. If you go brighter, it's more bright and dark. So we're going to work around this. So I just emphasize these colors. We'll go to image adjustment. Now we're going shadow highlights. If you don't see more options, click on more options and we'll take amount 100% highlights, shadows. And let's set for this resolution, we'll go with 10 pixels. You can try different resolution. Maybe it's work better. And I'm going to bring a little bit darker. I know this is 50%. So I'm going down. This is will be darker areas. And I can go up a little bit to bring brightness. Let's click OK. Next, we're going to filter sharpen and we're going to actually put it on sharp mask on this and usually i look right there with the sharpness just bring a little bit up it's at how i say texturing and let's go look on a soft light so at this moment you can see what we have before and after you just add this little bit overlay mostly important if you look like on a close right here you can see texturing look before and after it's add a little bit more texturing to us this info guys again this is maybe a little bit too harsh and if you find it's too harsh remember you can use your opacity to take a little bit up and down usually i'll keep it maybe about like 50 60 around that and take a little bit down okay so let's go ahead and um next we want to add a little bit color now to this uh, we're going to do with a selective color so we'll go create new layer we'll start with our blacks and we take bright and you can see we can work with all this so we'll just bring a little bit maybe about like two three minus three so highlight some of those areas and i want to my shadows be colder so i'll take add blue and again yellow remember yellow and blue opposite so this is yellow this is blue and i add a little bit blue and I'll add a little bit greenish so it will create this cyanish kind of look. And if we're going from cyan, we can add a little bit more cyan to dark or red. We don't need that dramatic, but we'll go about a two maybe around this area. Next, we're going to the neutrals. And in the neutral, same, you can see we have it. We can go brighter, darker. So it's up to you what you like to do. Um, sometimes take just neutrals, maybe one point darker. And I'm going to yellow. So opposite of our cold, I'm going to yellow here. Little bit, little bit, little bit greenish, maybe like minus one. And I'm going to red instead, cyan. Cyan has given us the deeper look. However, I want to get colder, warmer. So I'm going maybe about like four, 
to somewhere on there. And here's our whites. And whites, you can see we have it quite a bit highlights. Not necessarily will work. Actually, I'm going to take plus one, leave it down. But I'm going also warm up a little bit on my highlights. So we have it, this contrast, you can see, colder, warmer. Okay, let's add some elements. Uh, because we have a lot of reds, we can click on a red color. And right here, you can see we have it quite a bit red. So in this case, let's go to uh, make red plus one, a little bit more saturated. And we can make a little bit bring to warmer. So minus four, a little bit more, and a little bit maybe to the yellow. Yeah, let's go make our reddish color a little bit warmer. Okay, we also have our yellow color. So right here on a flower, I want a little bit deeper. So we'll just take a little bit down on the yellow. Uh, let's go look on our greens. And not so much greens here. I think we have it majority, so we'll leave it just yellow. Cyan, we'll should have it a little bit more on a cyan and its flower right there, the same. We'll just give it deeper on a, this cyan. Uh, blues, we should have it about right there, same. And our magenta, we should have it a little bit more on the magenta flowers. There you go. Yep, right there. So, and if you want to bring them brighter or lighter, usually what I'm doing, look on the flowers or other elements and those colors depend if they bring attention or not. So I think this way it's actually look okay. Again, if too much, you can use your opacity to bring up and down. Then other ways, um, and usually I combine them together, we'll set this one. We can add another um, curves. Let's call this color, okay? And we'll switch these to color blending mode. We'll select blue channel, bring this up, yellow on the middle. This is easier way to do again, cyan, and restore our red curve, like around here. So this is just another way to do this. I'm not sure if I like it. Um, we can just keep this a little bit down, but just give you example so you can do also this way. And yeah, I think this is look a little bit nice to have this kind of um, coloring elements. Okay, a um, couple of things. Let's go step down under our correction, color corrections, and we'll create new curve. We'll just take this on the curve, this band, bring all the way down. So let's create a total black. We'll make a frame around, not all the way. We'll need this border and we'll fill up this black color. So it will have a masking for us. Now we'll go inside a curve mask and we'll add feathering. You can see it's add feathering to the edges. Let's switch this to the soft light. So this is easiest way to do this vignetting. And usually I just look on the bottom. I did not like it, for example, but with vignetting, we're kind of focusing directly on the element right on the middle. Okay, so we've done this. Let's go ahead, type um, our name. Okay, let me bring on the top this layer. So right here, go with the white color. Uh, let's go select our uh, font that you like it and I'll just put it on a corner. Usually I don't make my name um, too obvious and I just leave it like right here, a little bit watermark for those who are interested, fine, but I don't like when um, the photographer's name on the middle or somewhere. The reason is it's take away attention from the our subject from what we created. And if you're worried about people taking and copyright, um, technically in Photoshop, we can very easy just take it there, any text or elements and just by removing. So it's not necessarily uh, protecting, but it is distracting from our views. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one thing, select all of these images that we just did it right here. Press Control Command G to group them together. So right here, there you go. It's already touching, retouching. And now you can see that was before and after. 
So we did not did a lot of stuff, but we did enhance a little bit on a facial hair, just create this painter kind of effect looking. So is our image. Again, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up and the support on Patreon. As well, I will provide links for um, backdrop system and all the things that I was using. So if you're interested, you're more than welcome to create your own. They have a different also colors there, all the stuff. So you can create your own unique look. Again, thank you for watching this video and have a fun time.